Now for endocrine glands and functions, starting with the pituitary, which I call the testes of the brain. Since they look like a set of testicles with two lobes, the anterior and posterior pituitary. And very similarly, they too release hormones that helps the body do many functions. So starting with the anterior pituitary, this is the largest part of the pituitary gland and is responsible for synthesis and release of most pituitary hormones. So let's look at the hormone list here. Starting with ACTH, the adrenocorticotropic hormone. The effect on target is that it stimulates the adrenal cortex to release aldosterone and cortisol. And the stimulus for release is stress. The next one is FSH, the follicle stimulating hormone. In men, sperm production is the effect on the target. And for women, ovarian follicles for the release of eggs. And the stimulus for release is the GNRH, the gonadotropic releasing hormone. Next is LH, the luteinizing hormone. For men, its function is in testicular. And for women, this is the most important part. It plays a key role in ovulation, the release of the egg. And the stimulus is GNRH, once again. Next is GH, growth hormone. This increases during anabolic metabolism, as well as cartilage growth and catabolism of fat as well as blood glucose and insulin effects. And its stimulus is normal growth and development. Next is PRL, the prolactin. It stimulates the production of milk in the breast, and the stimulus for release is estrogen, pregnancy, and nursing. Next is TSH, the thyroid stimulating hormone. It stimulates thyroids to release T3 and T4 for thyroid needs. Okay, now moving on to posterior pituitary. The posterior pituitary does not necessarily produce hormones directly, but rather stores and secrete hormones produced by the hypothalamus, which is what it's connected to. Now for the hormones, ADH, the antidiuretic hormone. So for the memory trick, we use ADH, adds the H2O, because the effect on the target is it adds water back into the body by telling the kidneys to reabsorb water. And its stimulus for release is for decreasing blood pressure, pain, and even high osmolality inside the blood. Basically, really thick blood. So we need to add more water back to the body to dilute that thick blood. Now, lastly, we have oxytocin. Caps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. And also, feel free to share the love, share with a classmate, and even your instructor. See you guys in the next videos.